Hello and welcome to Pilates. Nice to see you all. Today we're going to do progressives. And what this basically means is we're going to start with an exercise and then we're going to ramp up the difficulty of it, the more support you're going to need through your course. So one of the things that you know is that you can stay with the first level of the exercise. But of course, I invite you to challenge yourself and to find a deeper, you know, support inside your body and that will really guide you through. And you can try the more progressive and then go back to the less progressive, whatever you need to do. Um, but, you know, give yourself a challenge. But before we do any of that, let's start with our warm up. Get your head over your tailbone, your belly button to your spine, your ear, shoulder, and hip in alignment. And you wanna make sure you're on your sit bones. If you can't do it full, then take one leg out. Inhale up, exhale the ceiling and inhale down. And exhale up and inhale down. And exhale up and inhale down and exhale up and inhale and push to the wall. All right, so your bicep is over your ear. You're pushing the opposite glute into the floor. The fingers are pointing toward the opposite wall or whatever's over there. The other arm is down and soft, right? Don't let yourself fall back. Don't let your head drop forward. You wanna pull up out of, out of the body. Put your hand on your ear and guide your head across. Make sure your shoulder's down. All right, so you're gonna inhale across, rotate toward the side and so that your shoulder is toward the screen. You wanna feel a movement in your body right here. You wanna put your hand behind you and just feel that rotation. And for some of you, this is what you can do. For the rest, let's go to that spinal twist. Hand on the thigh, inhale up and exhale, putting the hand behind you. Big inhale and exhale, rotate. Big inhale and exhale, rotate. Big inhale and exhale, rotate. Lifting up out of the body. I want you to breathe three times. Inhale to prepare, exhale, bring it back to center, roll the shoulders back twice, roll the shoulders forward twice, and switch those legs. Make sure you're lifting up. Inhale up, exhale ceiling, and inhale down. And exhale up, and inhale down, and exhale up, and inhale down, and exhale up, and inhale, and again to the other wall. Again, we're not curling down, we're doing that big directed reach, right? So pull up out of the hips, push that glute to the floor, point that arm to the other side. Beautiful. We're going to take our ear, inhale and exhale, guiding it across, keeping that shoulder down. It's beautiful. Inhale across, exhale to the rotation. So you feel that turn, your hand is behind you, you're prepared to take it all the way. So let's do that. Hand on the thigh, big inhale, and exhale, rotate, big inhale and exhale, rotate. Little bit more from staircase going upward. Beautiful job, bring it right there. Nice, inhale to prepare, exhale, bring it back to the center. Your hands come out, the palms come together, you interweave the fingers, you push the palms toward the screen, make sure your shoulder blades are dropped, your head is over your tailbone. Take a big inhale and open your back on the exhale. So just sink it in there. Really, you should really feel the scoop, that big scoop happening as you push outward. Now we do use our arms for balance a lot. So it's important that these muscles get uh, their stretch. All right, put your hands in front of your ears. Take your feet to a uh, seated butterfly. So the bottoms of the feet are together. You're going to hinge forward. So reaching to the opposite wall not a curl down. Inhale and exhale, hinge. Reach, 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 reach. Thumbs are toward the ceiling so the shoulders don't go up. Pull that belly in, that's gonna make you go farther. Now palms to the ceiling, lower the elbows and curl yourself into your reached position. Take your legs hip width apart, feet flat on the mat, hands gently to the sides, drop, the knees all the way so that you can feel the hip stretch. The upper body is staying directed forward. Nice, eight and seven, beautiful. Six, five, perfect, make sure you're breathing. Four, don't push into your hands, that's a gentle balance. Three, you've got that core to hold you there. And two, and or let's do one more because I lost my count because I was talking too much. And let's bring ourselves down for our warm up. We're going to do two warm up exercises. This is before we start the progress. Let's get your head over your tailbone, start to curl down. Vertebrae by vertebrae, lumbar, mid back, shoulder blade, shoulder, then head. 
Lift your glutes up, take them down the mat, wiggle your upper body up, put your hands on your belly. Let's double check our, our position. Inhale into your hand, exhale into the mat. You're pushing your belly to the back wall, but you do not tilt your pelvis or push your uh, lumbar into the floor. With that, we pull our abs up and under the rib cage, the third, second and third quadrant of our abs. So big inhale and exhale, tuck under, and then close those rib cages nice and soft. Big inhale and exhale. We're gonna start with the single leg stretch. For those of you who do, don't do curl ups, you wanna put your leg up with your hand inside your knee and your uh, other hand on the outside ankle and you're gonna switch side to side for everybody else. Take your legs to tabletop, curl yourself up, bring one leg in, the other leg out, hand on the ankle, hand on the inside of the knee, look straight through, the head does not go up and down. You just inhale, switch, exhale. Inhale and exhale, good job. Nice, push it out. Nice strong legs, nice strong core. Let's do eight more sets, eight and seven and six, last five, four more and three and two, last one, both sides and we go to tabletop. We're gonna do the hundreds. You could do the hundreds down, you could do the hundreds up, you could do the hundreds at tabletop. If you have back concerns, or you could take it right out to the Pilates 45. Pumping for five, inhale, pumping for five, exhale, till we get to 100. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, 10. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, 20. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, 30. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, 40. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, 50. In Two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, sixty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, seventy. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, eighty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, one hundred. Hug your knees. Lower your head. Now we're going right to those progressives. I'll remind you one more time. We start with the supported exercise. We keep upgrading it. If you want to stay with the first one, do. If you want to go with us through all the possible advances, go right ahead. I'm taking it diagonally because the first one has a little different bit of a movement. All right, so we're separated on the ground. Make sure you got that big space between your rib cage and your um, hips. Now, you bring your legs up to tabletop. You frog them in and out. Let's do 20 of those. In, so the foot rotates to the edges and out goes to parallel, in and out. So your breathing is inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale. Good, good, keep going. Eight, nice, nine, make sure you nod your chin down, 10, 10 more. Inhale and exhale, nine, descending, pull that belly in, eight, good job. Seven, six, last five, and four, three more, and two, last one. Okay, next progression. We're going to curl it up right here. Now you can stay down if you want, but why don't you try this? Curl it up, look between the thighs, not at the feet. 20 more. Inhale and exhale. Two. Good job. Three, perfect. Four, five, six, little butterfly, seven, eight, really flatten that belly. Nine, good job. 10 more. One, nice. Don't lift your head to look at your feet because then you're gonna put your neck on, your head on your neck. Right, we wanna make sure we're always looking between those thighs. Good, five more. And four, and three, and two, and one. Okay, you can stick with a couple of those or you can bring yourself up and we're right here. You can have your hands down or your hands up. One, good job. Two, perfect. Three, four, 
Now, some of you, five, might need something for your tailbone. Six, a little fold the towel. That's going to come up a lot today. Seven, so I hope you have a standby. Eight, nine, good job. Ten more, pull that belly in, drop those shoulder blades. Ten, nine, perfect. Eight, lift it. Seven, six, make sure the legs rotate to parallel. Five, you don't want those knees out to the side when you get there. Four, so all the way through. Three, side, center, two, and one, and lower yourself to your mat. Nice job, and flatten your legs, drop them side to side. Right. For the first part of the next progressive, we're actually gonna put our hands under our hips. Take our legs to tabletop, lift them into straight, straight up. We're gonna drop and drop and drop. Three, four, five, six. Okay, this is where you can stay the whole time, seven. So some of you may not like this at all, eight. If you need to curl up nine to protect your back, 10 more, go right ahead, 10, nine, Nod your chin down, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we curl ourselves up and we do it again. One, two, now long legs, three, nice and pointed, four, you're reaching with them, five, even though we're focusing on the center, six, keep going, seven, keep breathing, eight, nine, 10 more, good, 10. Again, you could be staying on the one on the ground, eight, seven, six, five, four, good job, three, two, and one. Nice job, and now up to the top. Again, hands down, elbows down, no hands at all, it's up to you. Okay, one, if you want a bigger one, put the hands down. Three, four, or even the elbows. Five, so it's up to you. Six, you couldn't be, no hands at all. Seven, elbows or hands down. Eight, good job. Nine, 10, 10, nine, woo -hoo. eight, seven, anybody else fall backwards? Six, eight, I'm gonna put my hands down. Four, and three, and two, last one, drop them to one side, drop them to the other, and come onto your side in pike. All right, pike means elbow back, glutes back, you make a lap, you take your legs out, they're pointed, you're, you're lifted on your elbow, make sure it's under your shoulder, you don't let yourself drop if you can't, um, sustain the elbow uh, posture, then take it all the way down. It's gonna be harder to move the hip because your hips are more locked in this position and it's more open in the up position, but you do what you need to do for your body. All right, lift and lower for 20. One, two, three, four, good job. Five, six, seven, pull that belly in, eight, nine, 10, 10 more, one, two, three, four, five, six, is that bottom leg really pointed? Seven, it should be strong, eight, nine, and 20. Now, you're going to take both legs together. That's your next progression. Go for 20. One, I like to use the arms, because it brings the lats in, three, four, five, six. Again, you can stick with what we did, we did in the first set. Eight, nine, 10 more, good job. 10, nine, eight, nice. Seven, try not to bounce. Six, because sometimes we come down like this. Five, good job. Four, and three, nice. Two, and one, you can stick with this or come up onto your hand. It's gonna be a little bit harder. Let's go. One, and it's gonna be more of a fold, two, 
three, four, five, exhale, six, exhale, seven, eight, nine, good job, ten more, Woo. ten, nine, good, keep that belly to the spine, eight, you've got this, seven, six, the last five, because sometimes when people are losing their grip, four, they push their belly out, three, because they want to activate the muscle, but activate it inwards, two, and one. All right, bring it all the way down again, back to pipe. But this time, lie down. Take the top leg behind, soften the front knee. Got that? Top leg behind, soften the front knee. Tuck that hip under. Make sure you're on your hip and not kind of roll back or roll forward, right? Point the foot. 20 of your inner thigh. Adductor raises, three. Activate with your transverse abdominal, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 more, one, good job. Two, right to the knee height, right? Three, we are gonna pull the hip from the bottom, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, good job, and 20. Come on up to your elbow or stay right there with the progressive, at the top of the progressive the way you want to, but let's do it again. One, good, two. So as you can see, three, when we come up, it reaches deeper into the groin, four, five, good job, six, pointed foot, seven, eight, nine, 10 more, good, one, two, three, perfect, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Up onto your hand. This is gonna be a plank lift along with the inner thigh raise. Make sure your hand is under your shoulder. You're lifted through the top of your body, chest to the ceiling. We're trying not to depend on the foot too much. It's kind of balancing us as we come up. Let's do 20. One, perfect. Two, don't bounce down. It's a gentle move. Three, four, good job. Five, perfect. Six, seven, eight, nine, good. 10 more, again, you could be at the very first exercise, at the second one, or you can be here doing the plank lift. Five, six, good job, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Hold those legs together, sit them, and then sit back into child pose. Turn my fan on. All right, we're gonna do our transition before we go over to the other side. And it is also gonna be a progressive. So we're gonna start in pike, go pike to Pilates or pike to plank. Right now, if you have issues with being inverted or being um, using doing planks, come and do watchdogs, right? Hold your watchdog, bring it in. Okay, pike to plank, let's go. We've got 20 of these, take it up. Let's go. One, good job. Two. We're taking our time. Three, four, nice. Five, six, exhale, seven, eight, good job. Nine, ten, ten more. One, make sure your chest centers every time. Two, and I'm gonna give you a break between these, just in case, three, keep going. You're pushing too hard into your wrists, which you shouldn't be, four, but it's possible, right? Five, six, good, seven, eight, nice, nine, and 20. Now drop your knees, sit back into child pose. If you need to, rotate your wrists. Nice, good job. All right, we're starting back up. We're gonna add elbow. So here we go. 
We're gonna take it up, forward, elbow, plank, and lift. Forward, elbow, we're only doing 10 by the way, and lift. Three, elbow, plank, and lift. Four, elbow, plank, and lift. Five, elbow, plank, and lift. Six, elbow, plank, and lift. Seven, elbow, plank, and lift. Eight, elbow, plank, and lift. Nine, keep going, elbow. You have to breathe deep through this and lift. Last 10, plank, elbow, plank, and lift and hold it right there. Nice job. That one only had two progressives, so there you go. Bring it down and pike to the other side. All right, we're gonna repeat that side work. So elbow back, hips or glutes back, make a lap and take it up. Tap your hip under, look straight ahead. We give you a little bit more visual here. All right, up the lower for 20. One, nice pointed legs. Two, arms can be front or up, three, whatever way you align, four, Five, good job. Six, seven, eight, make sure you pause at the top. Nine, 10, keep the legs along. One, two, good. Three, exhale down. Four, pull that belly in. You wanna really feel it go solid back. Five, solid back. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Let's take them together for the next 20. One. Now, if you can't do this, of course, two, you stay with the first one, three. Good, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good job. 10, one, two, Make sure you keep tucked under three. You're not falling back on your glutes. Four. You might be tilting a little bit, right? Five, six, especially on the next one. Seven, eight. Good job. Nine and 20. All right. Our last one, we come up onto our hand. Again, you can stay with the second one or go back to the first one. One and two. Now, one of the things that I find that people do, three, is they scrunch their sh shoulders forward and the chest collapse, four, to try to get themselves up, five. Please don't do that. Stay nice and open. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten more, ten, nine, you got it, eight, perfect, seven, six, last five, and four, and three, and two, last one. Flex those feet forward and just take a bend and then we'll go down for the inner thigh work. Good, come on down. All the way down to the mat. We're still tight though. Leg behind, soft front leg. Give me 20 to the knee, put that hip under. One, good, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, good job. Nine, 10 more, perfect. One, two, three, four, nice. Five, six, seven, eight, good job. Nine and 20, let's come on up onto that forearm. Lift yourself up, make sure you've got your alignment and that you're open here, don't drop into it. Let's go, soft knee to the front. One, don't let it turn. Two, we did a lot of turning this week of Pilates, three. So if you need some turn workouts, they're on the four, on the YouTube five, six, also the stretch from yesterday, which was fabulous, seven. I'm not just saying that, nine. Everybody there said it, 10 more, 10, nine, eight, good job. Seven, six, last five, 
and four, and three, and two, and one. Let's take it onto our hand. Again, you can stay with the other two. Hand starts in front, make sure that knee is bent. Take it one, good job. Two, three. Now, one of the things that might stop you, four, keep going, five, is the, sh the knee shimmies a little bit in this six. So if that hurts your knee, go all the way down, seven. Good job, eight, nine, 10 more, gently, 10, nine, make sure you lift the leg with the body, eight, seven, six, last five, and four, and three, and two, last one, and lower down. Let's take our legs to the front, put our hands at the side, and we'll rock the legs long like this, side to side. Good, so everything kind of shakes out. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, onto your bellies. Onto your bellies. Do some back lifts. Open your legs to the ends of your mat. Open your arms. Nod your chin down. Pull your belly button to your spine. 20 lifts from the top. Make sure you drop your shoulder blades because whenever you reach your arms up, you have a tendency to lift those shoulder blades. All right, inhale up, exhale down. One. Two, three, pull that belly in. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, legs down. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 20, lower down. You can put your head on the mat. Don't turn it to one side, that'll hurt the neck. We're just doing the lower body. One, two, three, four. Try not to crack the knee, five. Long leg, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. And you probably guessed the last one. It's those two parts together. Point those feet nice and long, point those arms nice and long. Look down and let's go. Inhale and exhale. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, come on, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, good job, and 20. Put your hands under your shoulders, sit back into child pose. Progressives are fun. You get to challenge yourself and to perfect your form in our very uh, familiar exercises, right? All right, on to our backs again. And again, I'll do diagonals. You'll need your butt mat, so keep it around. All right, when you get down there, of course, you separate your, um, what do you call it, your rib cage from your hips. Tabletop, please, pointed legs, arms out to the side. Out and in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pull that belly in. Seven, eight, nine, ten more. Everything is very straightforward today. There's not a lot of twisting and turning. Three. This is all about the abdominus rectus and, and this primary mover down here. Six, seven, Eight, feel a little guilty. Nine, doing such things that are so gritty. Ten, all right, come on up onto your elbows. Same thing. One, good. Two, three. So why do we do it for bent leg rather than long leg? Five, it puts, it's, it loads the six. Seven, it loads the thigh. Eight, in this long leg, it's all lever in the hip. Nine, ten more. Good. Ten, nine. 
eight, seven, drop your shoulder blades, six, five, pause at the outside, four, three, two, and one. You know where we're going. We're going right here. Hands down or hands off. One, two, three. You take those hands off. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten more. Ten. Breathe it. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Put the feet down, then lower yourself. Separate. <laughs> All right, and you reach that. Hip width apart. Now, heels up to the floor. Hey, you finally came. All right, remember to curl up and curl down. Okay, take it up and one. Through your vertebrae, Brewster. Here's your vertebrae, three, right there. Here's your vertebrae. Four. Good job. Five. Six. This is going to be a longer progressive than our other. Seven. Eight. Looking right to the camera. Nine. Good job. Sorry there's a body in the way. Ten. You're used to it by now. One. Goodbye. Two. Perfect. Three. Four, I'm gonna put it in cactus because I like my chest up. Five, but a little, or my hands out a little bit. Six, so it's kind of a bent cactus. Maybe a little Joshua tree. Seven, eight, nine, and 20. The center part will have two parts. So we're gonna do 20 with one foot on one knee and then one 20 with one foot on another and there's a progressive after that. So again, you could stay with what we started. One, two, now you're gonna feel that more driving through that hamstring and that inner thigh, four, good job. Five, six, nice. Seven, you don't drop it, you curl down, right? Eight, you don't feel like you get as high without both legs being parallel, 10 more, but you're still gonna put the work in, 10. Nine, I usually get a cramp here, eight, nice. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch to the other side. Knee or foot on top of knee. This is kind of a diagonal position. It's not all the way out. It's not all the way parallel. It's kind of diagonal. Okay. One, you probably figured that out. Should have told you earlier. Two. Three, lift and lower. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good job. Ten more. Ten, nine. Good. Eight, seven. Push it up. Six. Five, four, three, pull that belly in, two, and one. All right, now we take it to supine butterfly. So the bottom of your feet are together. One, so you're pulling everything now. Two, you can feel the inner thigh, you can feel the back of the hip. Three, a little bit more of the glute. Four, we don't emphasize glute as much as we do in body sculpting. Six. But we know it's working. Seven, but we're focusing on those transfers of abdominals. Eight, good job. Nine, I'm gonna scoot more into the camera. Ten, ten more. One, good. Two, three, good job. Four, perfect. Five, six, seven. We're gonna add a little push together at the top eight. Nine, and now hold it up here on 20 and push those knees together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Lift it, 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and lower down and put those feet down with the knees facing the ceiling. 
All right, a little bit of work screw, take it all the way up, point those feet, we're gonna take it up and up, just side to side, two, three, four, five. Now we're not lifting at all, we're just moving it side to side, six, seven, feel that on both sides, eight, we're getting a little more obliques in before we go, nine, and 10 more, good job, one, perfect, two, three, nice, nice long legs, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Put your legs down, knees together, feet apart. And on the next one, we're gonna lift each side. If you're not comfortable lifting, again, just do it. We're only gonna do 10 sets, right? We're getting too close to the end. One, and lift. Two, nice. Three, perfect. Four, good job. Don't push your hands into the floor. Five, so palms up. Six, I don't want you to be pressing yourself up. Seven, eight, nine, good job, and 10. All right, we know where we're going now. Back to that lean back position. Again, you can have your hands down or your elbows down, or you can stay down and do what we just did. You're gonna have your hands off too and under your legs. So it's up to you. One, only 10, two, three, keep going, four, you've got it, five, good job, six, perfect, seven, looks like everybody's here today, eight, nine, good job, and 10, lower down, flex, and reach, one more progressive to go, drop those elbows, roll yourself up, Come all the way down again, and we're gonna do crossovers. Now remember on crossovers, you never drop your head down. You just come across the center, and don't look at your legs. Always keep your eyes between your thigh. Come to tabletop, point those legs, curl that body up, and 20 sets. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Don't curl your neck. Seven. Make sure it's the upper back that's curled. Eight. So you're not pushing your head down. Nine. It's curled up. Ten more. Ten. Push out. Nine. Good. Eight. Seven. Six. Last five. And four. And three. And two and one, both sides. Lower it down, drop it side to side. Nice. Now we're going to do something different for the uh, second progressive. You're going to come up onto your elbows, not onto your hands, onto your elbows. Legs are out. They come across and across and across and across. Three, four, good. Five. Six, nice, seven. Now, one of the things you don't want to do is rock side to side, eight. You're just taking those legs across, using that ball joint in your hip, nine, 10 more. Go ahead, 10, nine, good job. Eight, seven, you stay to plant at six, five, four, good job, three, Perfect, two, and one. And we come all the way up and we do our lifted. You have two choices, lifted crossovers, as you know, which will look like this. That's one choice. Or the side to side, that's your other choice. 
We're gonna do 10 sets. All right, you guys, we're going past stretch time. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. And 10, both sides. Flex your feet, take your body to one side and lift. Breathe. Inhale and exhale. Over to the other side. Do you like my breath? It smells like coffee. Nope, don't like the smell of coffee, I guess. Good, come back to the center. Flex those feet, put your hands on your shins just for a back stretch. Right here. Drop those shoulder blades, look at your big toes. Mine are silver. My toes, my toenails. My toes are lunch covered. Elmaz is the color of flesh, only my color. All right, come on down to your sides. Just come on down here. Scoot those knees up. Nice job. Take a nice deep breath. I need to center a little bit more. And then bring the arm around the head and open into your spinal twist. Scoot those knees up. Drop that shoulder. Really want to push both directions. So you put your hand on the front thigh and really pull it toward your face as you really try to drop that back shoulder and you get that really big opening there. Yeah. And then extend that front leg. Same thing, really try to drop that back shoulder. Beautiful. Then stack them and then bring it back. Bring yourself up on your forearm. Your leg is long. You're gonna bring the other leg in front. You wanna push into the thigh. Drop your shoulder, of course, All right? We're dropping our shoulder. Tuck the other leg under if you can, and then bring yourself up push it to your thigh again. That always feels remarkable. Make sure both glutes are seated on the floor. Perfect. Then let's go down to that other side and let's reproduce this. Pillow, our bicep pillow. Bring the leg, our arm around the leg around. And again, you can press on that upper thigh to get a great two-way stretch here. It feels great. When you can elongate that glute, it really then opens up the hip. It's really kind of remarkable. And I think, oh, I've stretched this about as much as I can in my life, but oh, it changes. And then bring it back around and bring it up and extend the leg and bring it in to make sure the ankle and knee are in alignment, don't have it pushing one way or the other. Push into the thigh, create resistance. Lift out of your shoulder, come on. Good job, then tuck that leg under and then come up kind of a half lotus almost where you push into that thigh. Beautiful, get your head over your tailbone. Beautiful, all right, let's open up into our straddle. I want you to flex the straddle to begin. Make sure you're on your sit bones, bend your knees if you need to. Put your hands behind you and lift your chest. Beautiful, lift your chest. And then release the feet. Release the hands, put the hands in front, pull the belly button to the spine and walk it forward. <laughs> Big inhale and exhale lower. You're gonna feel all the stuff you felt during those, those bridges and good. Inhale and exhale lower. Inhale and exhale lower. You've got it. Good, hold it right there. And push through the long arms. Nice, starting to look stormy outside, walk it in. It was so sunny when I walked out this morning, roll the shoulders back and roll the shoulders forward, nice. Turn your chest to one leg and slide down. Feel that right on the other side, right? It feels so magnificent. The arms are soft, they're parallel. Inhale up and slide over to the other side. Inhale up, bring the both arms up, and let's take it over to one side. Curl down this time. Curl down. I'm not pointing to the other wall. Let's go get go after that neck, just in case. Hardened it in any of your exercises. Let's take that other arm and put it across so we get two way. 
inhale and exhale down, and then we take it to the other side. Make sure you're aligned over your body. Nice. And then we take that neck, maybe slide that arm under. And bring everything back to center. Let's go to our tabletop. Oh, I'm all bothering tonight. So curl up like a cat. This will be very significant. Okay, count this on back sequence. Good. And every time, curl up like a cat, tuck those toes under, and we're back into our downward facing dog. Nice. One knee forward, the other heel down. And then switch. Put both heels down. That wind is scaring you, isn't it, buddy? And walk it in. I'd like you to grab your opposite elbows and let your body weigh down. Soften those knees, let it weigh. Yeah, after that workout, it's good to kind of let that happen. And then curl it up vertebrae by vertebrae. Nice, we are brilliant. So here we are in the middle, soften knees. Whew. Roll the shoulders back, I always do that when I get to the top and roll the shoulders forward. That's how we remember to put our shoulder blades down, right? Soft knees and washing machine. Nice, you got it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come to the center, breathe up and down. Two more up and down. And last time, thank you, Everfetti, for coming to Pilates, a progressive day. Progressive.